Action Recorder is probably now in my top 5 add-ons for Blender. Let me show you what this bad boy can do. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now Action Recorder is available for free, I'll leave the link in the description down below. I'm actually surprised this is available for free, it's probably one of the best workflow tools that you can actually use or utilise inside of Blender, especially if you're a modeler or especially if you do repetitive tasks. Now, rather than me waffle on, it's easier just to show you. So I have the default cube here, as always, respect to the cube. Let's quickly jump into edit mode and let's open up the properties panel on the right hand side. And you can see here, action recorder. Now, essentially what action recorder does is it records action or it records macros. So if you do repetitive tasks or you do things over and over again, you can record a macro and play it back. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a local action. That kind of categorizes it. Now, I'm not going to rename this because when you add in a macro, it actually takes away the name. So you fix this up at the end. I have this habit of constantly subdividing objects a certain amount of times. But this is going to save you a lot of time and it's probably going to save you a bit of money because you don't need to buy certain add-ons. You can actually make your own add-on to a certain extent. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the record button. I'm going to record this action, so I'll hit record. I'll go to edge, I'll go to subdivide and I'll put the number of cuts to something like 5. Once I'm happy with that, I can stop recording. And you can see here it automatically detects what we've done. It's created a macro called subdivide. In fact, if you double click on it, it actually tells you the operator. You can see here number of cuts 5. So you can actually change this at any point. So that's one of the advantages. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly call this subdivide. And if I click on this empty area, I can actually assign an icon. So if you're into your icons, you can actually use custom icons. So you can actually start to build up your own kind of personalized UI. So let's quickly add in another cube and let's move it to the right. With it selected, I can now hit play and it'll automatically subdivide five. So hopefully you're starting to see the potential here, especially if you do a lot of modeling, especially if you do repetitive actions all the time. But it can go a little bit deeper. You can record more than one action. So let's add in another local. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit record and I'm going to select a couple of polygons. I'll hit I to inset. I'll do an extrusion. I'll do another inset. And I'll do another very quick extrusion. Then I'll hit stop and you can see here it's actually recorded the actions that I've taken. So obviously I've inset the faces. We can change the order. So if we're not particularly happy the way the order is, we can actually reorder or structure it in a different manner. So check this bad boy out. So let's say I select a polygon here, like so. I can replay the action. How cool is that? So I'm hoping if you're a modeler, you're starting to see the potential in this. And I'm hoping you're thinking, this is pretty damn good. Now let me explain the difference between local actions and global actions. So in theory, local actions get saved with the blend file. So let me show you an example. So let me quickly just save this as untitled, probably the worst thing you could do in the world. And let's go to a new one. Let's just quickly add in something like a cube. Let's go into edit mode and let's check out what we have. So nothing has been saved because local works with the save files and global works on a global scale. So what I'll do is I'll quickly open that file back up and you can see here all the actions are now back. But what if you want to have this inside of Blender all of the time? Because it's not necessarily a good thing having it just in a Blend file. So what if you want to make this a global action and always have it there at your fingertips? Pretty easy to be honest. So let's rename this to Inset. Let's give it a very quick icon. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Local to Global. You can see here that we already have some categories inside of edit mode. Every kind of mode that you go into, it has some sort of default categories. But I'm actually going to set up my own category. I want to have something a little bit more structured. So I'll go to advanced and I can hit the plus sign here. And let's call this my tools. In terms of the area, we are obviously working in the 3D viewport. And in terms of the mode, we're actually working in mesh mode. So edit mode mesh, I'll apply a visibility and I'll hit OK. And I now have my own category. So what I can do here is I can go all the way back up to local to global, make it a global action. And you can see here, my tools, I now have my own category. Perfect. So I now have this inset. So any time that I start a new Blender file, so for example, let's just quickly start a new scene. And again, we'll quickly add in the default cube and let's go to edit mode. You'll now see in the action recorder, if I go all the way down, I have my tools and it's an inset. So we can inset like this. Perfect. 
Now this isn't necessarily restricted to just edit mode, this works inside of layout, it works inside of UV, so anything that you do repetitive, this can be recorded as a macro and we can quickly play it back. Perfect, absolutely amazing tool and I'm pretty surprised this is available for free. I'm hoping you understand that you can actually start to build out your own tools, you can start to build out your own workflow if you do something over and over again, record it, play it back at any point. And that is pretty much Action Recorder. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.